What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans and today we are decorating the first week of August in my dashboard catch-all planner. This is a fun week for me because Monday through Wednesday, well Monday through Thursday and a half I am home and then Thursday afternoon slash evening I am flying out to Seattle where all my friends are throwing me a baby shower this weekend. So Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I will be in Seattle where I, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but uh, Josh and I moved to Austin, gosh, almost five years ago. I still say four, maybe four years ago. But prior to that, we were in Seattle and I had been there for 15 years, something like that. That's where Josh and I met. Josh grew up in the um, Seattle area. And so Seattle is kind of like a third home, I guess you could say. And that's also where all of my people are. So I'm really excited for a girls weekend. My mom's flying up and my brother already lives there. So I'll be able to see family. I'll be able to see friends and like my people, you know, I get to see my people. So enough yapping. That's what's going on this week. And I am all about creating something that is cute, but also functional for how I actually need to use it. So uh, this might look a little different this week just because I need a packing list. I do wanna log my flight information, and then I just want it to be cute. And I want it to be um, an ode to baby related stuff. So we're gonna use JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop baby stickers. I need to buy more of these because they're so cute and I want to be able to journal with them as well. And then there's also, she came out with a collection of like Bursting Creativity Collection and these brush strokes are so pretty and they all kind of match. So that is, we're going small shops today with these stickers and uh, for functional, I'm gonna go with the Mojo Jojo Plans neutral boxes. Typically I add a lot of black, but I don't know, I might, I might play with some different colors today. And I don't want to overly decorate because I need this to be functional. So mark my words, actually don't because I'm always wrong, but I think this should be basic. <laughs> my famous last words, everybody, because I always make it way more complicated. So the first thing I want to do to make this, now this is also already, I think, one of the most functional layouts from the Happy Planner, especially if you're a list maker. You might not have a lot of appointments and to-dos for each day, but you have a running kind of, you need a dashboard for the week. That's why they call it the dashboard layout. So this kind of functional section plus smaller weekdays might be the right the right setup for you. So we're gonna play with this side first because I wanna get some, I wanna get more lines on here. So I'm gonna move the days of the week out of the way and just look at this guy and this neutral boxes book from, oh, and let's grab a sticker sheet just to get a sense for colors. So we could go with grays or blacks, but there's also, you know, maybe we go with, let me grab, um, I have Tell of a Plans book that is also neutral. I think it's Neutral Basics. Yeah, let's grab Neutral Basics because I wonder if that might be better for what I want if I'm trying to, pardon my squeaky chair. I wonder if that might be, yeah. I think we're actually gonna go with Neutral Basics. These are very different books, by the way. I think they stand alone. So if you know you have one and not the other, it might be smart to get the other one because these colors are definitely uh, different. And I kind of like that these neutral colors have some more kind of soft feminine colors, some uh, rosy tones which maybe that would be a fun way to add a little bit more color is to go with the rose. I am expect, I mean, this would be like a perfect match, but I think the rosy tones might actually be really nice. The only thing with this sticker book is it doesn't have lines, but maybe that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
throw some stickers down and first I'm going to white this part out because I know the font is going to show up. I think the bullets might not. So we're going to just go without whiting the bullets out and see how much space we have. So this is a pretty small box. Definitely smaller. Let me see if I can get this to, let me get this straight. Hopefully. Yep. That works just fine. And then I could add a checklist. Maybe I'll use these for like washi strips in this spread. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, I definitely want to add little like cute baby related icons. Let's add like a little teddy bear right here. Again, this is Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop. Let me grab my trusted tweezers and I'm gonna throw this teddy bear. I think we need to take out a little bit more. Let's throw the teddy bear here. And then before I lay it down, I can tell that we need to take out a little bit more of this pink. So I'm gonna go a little bit higher like so. And then you guys already know. Oh no, where's my bone? My favorite tool, there it is. So I'm throwing things around. Take the bone. So pre-bone, can you see the air? And you can see the white out and stuff. But you take the paper folding tool called the bone and you can just push it out and really get it into the paper. much better and then if I want to kind of clean up because there was some excess white out you can kind of just scrape it off if you want to that's just me being a little extra a little bit extra try to get that line back already that looks super cute so I'm hoping that today I can show you guys how to I don't know like make it cute but also still have it be functional without it I don't know taking too long or being too challenging so there are no boxes like smaller boxes that I like to use for changing headers so I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna trim it down for this one I'm just gonna cut it in half I'm gonna white out get it done I could leave get it done because it, it doesn't, it's not inaccurate for what this section is going to be about, but um, I might want this to actually be maybe related to some not travel related things. The other thing we have going on right now is we are turning over our unit next door for new renters part-time renter or not part-time short-term renters so see how I made that a little bit shorter so this might be this might need to be like duplex to do's so this will be duplex to do's maybe this will be um should we have this be like highlight of the week maybe yeah but maybe let's change colors just so we can if we're gonna layer another color on here uh, or if we're gonna layer, layer, oh my gosh, words today. Y'all, I am worked up. <laughs> I have so much to do. Um, if I'm gonna put maybe some words down here, maybe it would be good to have them be a different color. So maybe let's try kind of moving into this other section. And I'm gonna put highlight of the week. Yeah. I'm gonna do highlight of the week with this one. And it's pretty big. So I'm gonna kind of put it outside the box just to kind of fill fill in some of this space and not take too much space of here. So we're gonna do highlight of the week there. And it's probably gonna be baby shower related or sing friends. I'm going to 
put, hmm, do we want to do like this week's focus? We could do the this week's focus sticker. And this could all be related to turning over the duplex. And I just really like playing with space. So because this is bigger and I like playing with space, I'm actually going to put this slightly outside of the box just because I think it looks cool. So we're going to do this week's focus, kind of avant-garde, if you will. And then I definitely need a packing list type thing. So let's go back to that rosy color. And I want the big box to be, hmm, that's not very big. I might need multiple boxes. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna cover noted and I'm gonna put it so that I don't have to white it out by having the pink be kind of right on top. So we'll put noted here and that will be my packing list. Although that's a very small space for a packing list. We're gonna need more room than that. So I'm going to actually layer more boxes. Are these the same width? They are not the same width. So we're gonna center it to the best of my ability do that and maybe let's take one of these square boxes in this other color and I'm gonna layer it do I want to layer it let's move my fingers out of the way do I want to layer it here or here I think I want to layer it here so we're gonna go and actually, I'm gonna white out the color from the frame just so that we don't see that kind of darkness peeking out from underneath the box. So I'm gonna take some of that out, not that much, but just enough to where when I lay the box down, I'm not too distracted by the lines of the box. That's probably good enough. And we still need cuteness, right? So, do we wanna do any more boxes? I wish, I don't think I have any other like lettering of Heathers, like words, like packing list or something like that. So, I might just have to write that in myself. That's okay. And I do want to have some baby decor. Maybe we do some keys or, um, I don't wanna do the teddy bear again because we already have the teddy bear. Let's see. The rocking horse is pretty darn cute. Maybe the baby bottle. I think the keys, I guess because it's more of a motion, it's more motion related. Like, I don't know, driving only. <laughs> I'll be flying, but do you know what I mean? I don't know. It doesn't always have to make sense, but I always try to, I don't know, have it make sense in my mind. So I'm just taking out the white line, or excuse me, the colored lines, and kind of hoping that I've taken out enough, but not too much. We'll go a little bit higher. That is probably good. And we'll press this in. A little baby rattler key thing super cute we need more we need more baby stuff though so yeah maybe that oh we could do a quote she's got some really cute quotes here hold me a little longer rock my home. so much grace how wonderful life is now that you're in the world I'm gonna save that one. Sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in your heart. Oh, that's cute. I like that one. I wanna use this quote and maybe it goes like right there or right, yeah, let's go right here. I think that's a good spot. And then I'll still have room to write down below. I did separate 
uh, if you saw my previous plan with me's, I had, I was using this layout for both social media and catch all stuff. And I've been playing with a different size for social media. So we're back to using this exclusively for just my life catch all. So I don't need to worry about boxes for social media tracking. So we put that there. I feel like we need another box. So maybe, um, oh, and I wanted another baby toy, right? I could put like this down and then put a box in front of it. And maybe it's one of these tan boxes. Let's do it. This kind of cute little like stacking stacking game. I'll just throw that here. And I don't want the focus on, so I'm gonna take that out. And then let's grab, hmm, what sized box? Maybe this guy. About this for a second. I kind of wish I could use this box to cover up the. Uh, let me flatten this. Cover up that correction tape. Let's see. Maybe we'll just go right there with this one. This makes me, having this space here makes me want to lower it, but I could add another like little toy or something. Let's add another little toy just to kind of fill it in maybe. Sure, we'll just throw that right there. Okay, so there is the first side and Let's see how this, let's let's start putting together the other side and see if, if we're happy with how this is going. So I do want to use these tassels. These are going to represent the baby shower. So I'm gonna put this guy, see if I can, these are always, whenever they're curved ones, it's always hard to figure out like, where does it need to start and where does it need to finish? So we'll go right there, like so. The other thing I'm really excited about with this baby shower is my best friend from childhood is flying in for it. Literally doing like a 24 hour quick Thing. She's like, I just can't miss it. And I haven't seen her in four or five years. So pretty excited about that. And it means a lot that she's, that she's going, she's showing up. So I'm excited to see her. And she hasn't met some of my Seattle friends. And so it'll be just a fun, it'll just be a fun girl time. Let's grab this box. This is going to be for the, oh, that's my travel. Do we want to use a box for travel or for the shower? Or obviously we can do a box for both. I do wish Heather would hook us up with some smaller boxes. I need some smaller boxes. So I'm gonna put, and maybe I need more than one box, I don't know. I'll just put this one centered right here. Oh, but I wanna see the tassels. So maybe I'll go at an angle like that for the party. And then I'm gonna go at an angle for the travel. I know it's a little weird, especially because these are straight, but I don't know, I still think it's fun. Okay, so we've got my travel day, we have the party day, uh, I know that I have another, I'm having 
brunch with my college girlfriends here. And this is so fun. Like I rarely have things on specific days that require boxes. And so I rarely put boxes down over here because I don't like having boxes with no purpose. But uh, these boxes do have a purpose because I actually have plans. How exciting is that? So I'm gonna put this one up here. This will be for brunch with my girls. And I need like icon, I need more like baby related icons. So let's do, um, I do have the romper, but I kinda wanna save it. I wanna save this, I think. So we're not gonna use the romper. We already used this, but in smaller. We already used that. So this sheet, we wanna hold off on. I don't wanna repeat images. We still have room for the rocking horse, which there were two sizes. Oh, and then we've got, I forgot about the paint brushes. We'll add some paint brushes in just for a little extra extra. But let's do a rocking horse. Should we do a rocking horse? Rocking horse will have to be on a box because you know he's got to be grounded or he's got to be on a, a line of some kind. He could be on the books. Maybe I don't use this box this week and I put the stack of books there instead. What do we think about that? I like it. I'm going to put down a box here just to bring in some more of this colored box. And then I'm going to put the stack of books. Ooh, I think we're stuck. We're stuck, we're not lifting it. I'm gonna put the stack of books like that, yep. Yep, yep, yep. So we're just creating layers because I think layers look cool. And that means, of course, we're gonna, we're gonna need to do some whiting out. We're gonna take this out. Some might say this is a waste of a box, but for me, it's not. It's how I like to do it. So, so there. So let's put, this is where I need two sets of tweezers. Let's put the books there. And then we're gonna eyeball the correction tape and how high it needs to go. This needs to go a pinch taller. And then, did I space that perfect? I might have actually done that pretty darn perfectly. Cool! Although, hold on, we're gonna be a little extra. I can't see the edge of this book, so I'm going to take this white inked pen. Oops, don't go down too fast. And I'm gonna take out, I'm gonna make a little indent in the box. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's very wet, so I'm gonna let it dry for a moment. And let's, since I've got this pen, I'm gonna go ahead and just take out the S for Saturday and Sunday. And I still wanna use a rocking horse. Let that sit for a second. Let's put a rocking horse. We had a small, do we have a smaller one? No, this is the smaller one. Ooh. It's kinda big for that size box. But maybe, maybe we do like the bottle and we do a quote instead. So much grace in one tiny face. Or we start bringing in the paintbrushes. Let's do a baby bottle and the paintbrushes. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. So pull this guy off. And we'll go that way with the bottle. So I'm gonna take out some of this. And kind of 
throw it down like so. I'm going to go a little bit further with this guy just to clear out what's underneath the bottle. Not always necessary, but I just prefer the way that it looks with um, with these kinds of stickers. Okay, I think that's probably dry enough. I'm gonna push that down. Let's see, hopefully guys, you can see the difference. I'm gonna press this down with the bone. Instantly better, instantly better. Go all the way up. Over that pen as well and then we'll do the same over here cute I probably could have gone in a little bit more but that's okay so we have the bottle and I do want to start incorporating some some of these some of these paint swatches because these definitely match. And then we've got, you know, the little flowers and stuff. So I'm gonna just start adding, just to incorporate the two different styles. Um, question is where? Maybe we hold off on that and do the paint brushes first. There is this really pretty pink one. Maybe this guy goes it's pretty big. Where should we put it? Across that way. I don't want to take out too much of it. We could just throw it down here. Let's do that. I'm gonna put it kind of off the page actually. Like this. And then I definitely want it to show up underneath or over the box. So I'm gonna hope I'm taking out the right spot. That looks pretty good to me. Let's trim this guy. It looks like I'll have to repunch it, but that's okay. And obviously, if we do a paintbrush there, we're gonna need to do, we're gonna need a paintbrush on this side. So we've got a big paddle, we've got a smaller one. The question is angles, knowing my angles. We could go across Monday. Maybe we'll go there. That wouldn't cover up anything. If we did it kind of, it's kind of weird going from the books, but like, I'm kind of into it. Because the books do have green in them. So what if we did something like that with the paintbrush? Ooh, it's artsy fartsy and I like it. I am here for it. All right, let's push this guy down. But Jojo wasn't planning on seeing a spread that had both the creativity and baby stickers in it. But I like that. Um, I feel like we do need to incorporate, we, do, we gotta do the flowers. We gotta incorporate um, a little bit more. So I'm gonna throw this guy right there and maybe the green one. So then it's almost like this box is like a continue or is continuing um, with the paintbrush. And I'm gonna layer this a little bit, which means take a little bit of this guy out. And just go right there. 
flatten it up. So that kind of, this whole thing kind of connects together. It's a bit of a hodgepodge. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit of a hodgepodge. And I really want more, more of these florals incorporated. Oh, wait, we gotta flatten this. This needs to be flattened. So I think what I might do is if it's not too late, I wanna add some, so this is one sticker, but I wanna cut it and incorporate, I wanna use it like washi, if that makes sense. So see how it's one big piece? I wonder if there's any chance I can add a little bit of floral peeking out. So what color would we want? Green, uh, peachy. I think we wanna do a darker color. So I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna cut it into smaller pieces. We'll just do that right now. So there's green. Here's that kind of mauvey color. Maybe the mauvey color would look cool. So I'm gonna take the mauvey color and put it like so and hope that this works. It's not really long enough, but it still adds a little bit of texture. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, but we're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it, folks. And then I'm gonna take the green. Now we have a lot of green up here, so I think the green should be somewhere down here. And I could cut this or just add just like, like a swatch of green here. Maybe I'll do that. So I'm going to take out the color here and add this guy right here and let's have it go a little bit into this box this serves purely the only the only function or purpose of this is having fun decorating and just creating something that I will have pleasure looking at this week. So never feel like this is something you need to do. But it just adds like a little bit. So you just add it like layer, layer, layer. Like I like the look of the layers. So since we did that and that, I feel like we could do, where are those pieces I just had? Too many stickers. Did y'all see what I did? Oh, they're sitting right here. So color-wise, I can't remember what colors these were. All right, there was like a peachy, more olive and then like a pinky. Let's take, well, I'm just gonna cut all of them. Or I could keep two of them together. No, let's cut all of them. Commit to the washi strip function and I just gotta decide what colors do I want. Maybe like, hmm. Cause this actually could be like a backdrop for a header. You know what I mean? Like a little header box. Let me see, let me see this for just a second. So we layered that. Now I am kind of feeling like we need, before we do this, let me add some flowers under this. I feel like this, this guy needs something. So I'm gonna try to do this very carefully and basically use this like a drop shadow just to make it more interesting. Maybe I don't need to use the whole thing though. So I'm gonna cut this in half. Hope it doesn't stick. Oh, and it is. Hold on. 
unfortunate. It's peeling. It's peeling, but we'll survive. Okay, so I wonder if I can still use this piece, the ripped piece. And let's say I wanna just add like a little bit of floral, like here. Mm, I don't like that it doesn't fill the spot well. it would have to be more like that. That could work. I'm going to take out the line here and it's not too late. Go all the way to that line. It's a little wonky. It is a little wonky. I just felt like it needed, I'm gonna pull this off. If your paper rips, my opinion is to just let it finish ripping so that it's flat, you have something flat to write on. I think we need the rest of this, I really do. So I'm gonna to try to lift this back up and take out the rest of this box. I'm doing it, I'm going for it. I probably should have left it whole Lesson learned for next time. I don't need to cut that much. All right, I'm just gonna try to match this up, restore it to its original glory, like so. I'm try to flatten it back out. back down oh boy that was stressful it's a little wonky now it's a little wonky but don't lose sight on the big picture this is my planner and I need to be able to write stuff down in it it's okay if it looks a little wonky okay so we've got a paintbrush we've got a paintbrush we've got two more swatches and I think I want to use maybe this one down here. It's so big though. I feel like it takes up a lot of space. I could do one here. Let's do that. I'm gonna put I want a little bit more writing space on this Saturday. So I'm going to go with using one on Friday. And maybe go a little bit further. Like so. Kind of matches the milk. This is funky, but it's cute. It's really cute. And I will never forget that this was the week of the baby shower, you know, which is kind of the point. So let's see, what else do we want to do? So I have highlight of the week. Uh, this week's focus is actually going to be on my duplex to do's. This is going to be all like packing and travel related. And then this is for the baby shower. This is for my girl's brunch. This is for my travel. These are normal work days for me. But I do feel like we need a little, a little more something. So let's go with flowers. Let's just throw some flowers down to keep, uh, keep it cohesive. I'm gonna throw this one here and I'm gonna add a little purple one, dark purple one, right above it. But I wanna be able to see it okay. Mm. I don't know if I like that so much. Let's go a little bit higher and throw it 
there. And I'll have to scrape a little bit of this off because I want to see that that flower underneath. Do a little bit of that, a little bit of that. And smush it down like so. Okay, friends, now I gotta just, I'm definitely not redating this planner. I usually redate stuff and I just can't. <laughs> I just, that's too much, too much for me. And we're already at 40 minutes, sweet niblets. Did I say this was gonna be a fast one? I need to stop saying that, you guys. Oh, I do wanna add, I wanna add a quote because, ooh. In the midst of chaos lies creativity. Now, this is not baby related, but maybe it's kind of cool to like mix things up a little bit because it's a creative spread and it's a baby spread. So let's do this one. And I'm going to line in the midst of with chaos lies creativity. And we will go just like so. I'm happy with that. Still got room to write Sunday, write stuff down for Sunday, which we don't have plans for Sunday, so that's just fine. I don't have any more of Heather's font over here. Not a big fan of that. I do like to be consistent with my fonts. I could go in with, she does have days of the week, but uh, I don't know if I want to use the days of the week. Let's just see how big would the days of the week be. I feel like they'd be kind of chunky. They would be. And then, like, what would I do for Saturday? You know what I mean? Well, I guess Saturday is a longer word. So I could do it. I could do Friday. Should we do it? Should we re, re, redate? Oh my goodness. And these are different colors. Do I go for it? I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. Let me see how Saturday would work with the tassels. And if I'm not in for it, I'm not in for it. Mm. And then I would need to date it. Should we do it? I'm not gonna do it unless those actually stick. Nope, we're okay. So lift this guy back up. I'm gonna leave it because I don't wanna add numbers. All right, anything else? We've got highlight of the week, this week's focus with the duplex travel. Mm -hmm. And then this stuff. Um, I could add more of her font or her handwriting by doing like today's top three. Like I could do a today's top three here or something just to kind of, I could throw it here, today's top three. Or here, because I do feel like, I feel like we do need something here. I could do it here, today's top three. And then she does have little bullets, so I could take, these bullets. Now I'm just, y'all, now I'm just being extra. I'm using all the stickers. But should we just do it? Let's just do it. One, two, and three. At this point, we're just going for, this is purely aesthetic at this point, you guys. Purely aesthetic. All right, we'll go there. And then we'll go there. Today's top three. And maybe that's it. 
Maybe that is it. I think I better stop because this could get out of hand real quick. Some of you might say, it already did, Elizabeth. It already got out of hand. Let's grab a notebook and see what does this look like on discs? My favorite question, what does it look like on discs? Let me make sure y'all are squared up like so. Pop this guy in. Oh, we got a punch. This is my handy dandy power disc punch from We Are Memory Keepers. It is excellent. It'll be a little finicky with the clear stickers, but not too bad. And I'm gonna zoom out just a pinch. I wanna make sure y'all can see this okay. Sorry, we're moving. All right, we are done, friends. We are done. This is my layout for the first week of August in honor of my baby shower using Neutral Basics from Kelleva Plan. And then all the cute little illustrations are from JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop. Gonna have to restock the baby ones because they're so cute, you guys. I cannot wait to use this. This one's gonna be a special one. Don't know when I'm gonna use it, but it's on, it's on reserve. All right, friends, that is it. Come hang out with me over on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. I will for sure be popping into my stories periodically through the weekend in Seattle. So if you wanna see any snippets from that trip, then definitely follow me over on Instagram. And if you wanna hang out with me again, please subscribe to the channel and we'll do it again sometime. Until then, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.